Hi guys, alright, I am going to do a hair tutorial on how I get this look. I call this my Tix Barbie hair because it's big and flippy and just like a Texas Barbie or like a Texas Beauty Queen. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, I just use Velcro rollers, a curling iron, and a few other little tools. So if you're interested in getting this look, then keep watching. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I sprayed my Chi Iron Guard all over my hair. You need a comb. You can, everybody always asks me what the best teasing comb is, blah, 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 blah. Honestly, you can use pretty much anything. I usually use just whatever I have laying around. Sometimes it's a big wide tooth comb. Sometimes, now I don't know where one is, but it's a comb with the teeth really close together. Sometimes I use like a boar bristle teething brush, te te teasing brush. It really doesn't matter. Whatever works best for you. Okay, um, Velcro rollers, clips. I like these, you can buy them at Sally's. Um, if you don't have those, you can use bobby pins, a big curling iron. This is a one and a half, I believe. All right, so what I do is I start at the top of my hair and, um, oh, hairspray as well. Now, I use my bigger rollers at the top of my head. That is because I have shorter layers on top, and if I get my rollers too small, then um, it gets too much curl and it looks bad. And I just have to say that don't mind my makeup. I always do my face after I have my rollers in. And I've had this makeup on since 8 in the morning. And it's now 4. So it's wearing off. Okay. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go right at about the middle of my head. Grab this section. And it just needs to be as wide as kind of your roller. I mean, you'll know. If you get your section too wide, like as in this direction, your hair will fall out of the roller. And then it just needs to be, I would say usually the rule of thumb is like the width of the roller. So you know if your roller is like an inch and a half or whatever, then you can take a section that's like an inch and a half wide. All right, so I'm gonna take this section, I'm gonna spray it with hairspray, and then I'm going to curl it with the curling iron. Now, the reason that I use the curling iron and the Velcro rollers together is because if you just use the Velcro rollers on their own, they might give you a little bit of lift, but not really. You want to use some kind of heat. So a lot of times I'll do this with the flat iron. Just run my flat iron over it and then put the Velcro roller in. Then I'm just going to go up the hair, put my roller in it, and roll it down. And then secure it with your clip. All right. So once I have that, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two rollers just directly behind this. So I'm going to slip this section in half just directly behind my roller and grab this hair right here. Just a little triangle shape. And guys, honestly, it doesn't matter what, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm going to take this, spray it. Oh, and I forgot to say, I do tease a little bit at the roots before I curl it with the curling iron. I'm going to take my curling iron. I don't bring it all the way down on top of my head, but pretty close. So I used a big, huge roller for this. This is probably a two-inch roller. Now I'm going to use, I think these are one and a half. And I kind of just made that up, so. But the bigger, the better. I'm going to roll that down. So this is how we're looking from the back, okay? I'm going to take this other triangle shape of ha hair, spray it with hairspray, tease the root, take your curling iron, and everybody always asks me this too. Yes, you can use a smaller curling iron. The smaller curling iron you use, the um, tighter the curl is going to be. Take my roller, roll it down, secure it. All right, so I have that triangle section. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the sides. 
and I just grab whatever is in front of my ear. I don't have to section this off. If it gets in your way, you can just take a clip and put it out of your way if you want. Now, um, this also depends on how thick your hair is. My hair is kind of medium thickness, so I only need to split it in two sections here. What I'm gonna do, split it in half. I take this top section, spray it with hairspray, tease the root, and then curl it. Now, and I just curl straight down. Now this is going to seem like a lot of work. That's because it is. So I don't do this like on every morning, you know, just on my way to work. But um, like I said, we are going to dinner and all that jazz for my hubby's birthday. So I'm doing it. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this around and really once you get the hang of it it doesn't take that much time and you can just do your makeup when the rollers are setting so it's not that big of a deal all right now what I do for this bottom section is I spray it spray it I curl it up instead of down so I'm gonna spray it with hairspray tease a little bit at the root take my curling iron and curl up What will curling it up do, you say? Well, you'll see at the end. It just gives you that ticks as Barbie hair. All right, let that fall. Take your big roller. Roll this up. And see, some of them I don't have to pin. They'll just stay. All right, I'm going to leave my bangs out. I'm going to go to the other side. Sometimes, since I part my hair so far over, I usually need to usually need to do three rollers down this side. I'm not today. Well, yeah, I am. I was going to say I'm not going to for time's sake, but hey, with this new partner thing and unlimited time cap, it's going to be a free for all. All right, so I'm going to curl this. And how many rollers you need depends on obviously you know how much hair you have I think for the purple size at Sally's I think it's like maybe four dollars for a pack of three or something like that don't quote me but it's something like that all right I'm, I'm just going straight down my hair taking another section hair spraying it now I am going to curl these bottom two up. I know I only did one on this side, but that's because I have less hair happening. So I'm going to curl it up. So that's just kind of how it looks if, it, if you let it fall. Roll it up. My dog is whining at the door. No, you're not going out right now. I have him locked in the bedroom. Okay. Spray that, tease it, curl this section up, and I'm using a Fusion Tools curling iron. Fusion Tools and Hot Tools are my favorite brands of curling irons. Fusion Tools are a little bit more expensive. Okay. Oh yes, so that's what we have now. Okay, now for the back. Ooh. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do about two more rollers right here straight down, and then these last two sections I'm going to roll up. Are we understanding that? So about from my eyes all the way around my head are going to be rolled down. Everything else is going to be rolled up. So I'll be right back to show you that. So what I did is I went ahead and put two more rollers in right here. I did the same exact process, but I rolled them down. I have about this much hair hanging out. Now sometimes, depending, I might do split this in half. Well, here. I would split it in half this way and then half again and do four more rollers. But I tend to lose things a lot of the time. And I am now left with one purple and one blue. Sometimes at this point, I'll have seven, blue, seven purple left. Not really seven, but you get... The gist. So I'm just going to do two sections. It's okay that the rollers are two different sizes. Don't panic. Everything will be fine.
All right, so I'm going to split this section in two. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Spray it with hairspray. Little teasing. Now, remember, these bottom ones are going to be rolled up. Now, you can roll them all down if you want. I mean, that, that's fine. Um, but for this tutorial, I'm rolling them up. And I don't know if I clarified this before, but you can do this exact same process with a flat iron. And this is, I have a tutorial called Your Not So Average Hair Tutorial, where I had initially, or I guess, yeah, originally, um, I had filmed all of this, but me doing this um, technique with a flat iron, and then it lo I lost it, or my computer deleted it, or whatever happened. So you can use the steps that I'm doing now but do them um, with a flat iron. And I think in the tutorial I do the bottom row under two. But really using the flat iron instead of the curling iron will just, it won't be as curly as it will with the curling iron. Hence the curling iron. Okay, grab this one, roll it up, secure it in place, I know I keep looking over here, but that's, I'm looking at the display thing. Okay, now I'm going to spray this puppy really good all over. All right, so now you can put a um, roller in your bang if you want. I'm not going to, and I'm going to show you a little trick that I do. I know a lot of people know how to do this, but I actually had a client today that had never heard of this, so I'm going to show you. Okay. This, I am going on three day hair now. I haven't shampooed my hair in three days. This is the third day. Tomorrow will be the fourth day. So my roots are getting a little bit blah. Not terribly, but a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and um, this is just the Mineral Veil from Bare Minerals. Obviously you don't have to use this. I just don't use this powder anymore because I found one I like better. You can use baby, um, baby powder. You can use um, just a, any kind of setting powder. I wouldn't use a bronzer unless your hair is dark. I used blush before on accident once. I Long story. And needless to say I had pink roots. So don't do that. You can also, I know they make dry shampoos, fine, use them if you have them, I'm just using powder. Put some in your lid or whatever, take your big fluffy brush, swirl it around, tap it off, and then all you, you're going to do is just blot at your roots. And then I just take my fingers and shake it out. Then I'm going to lift it up, and you really only have to do, I mean I guess obviously your part. You don't need to go through and do your whole head if you're not going to be seeing that part. You can comb through it a little bit if you want. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but it makes a huge difference. It just helps suck up some of that excess oil. Ooh. And then I might do a little bit more when I get my hair down. But yeah, so quick easy trick that you can do. All right, now I'm going to let this set for as long as I do my makeup. You can let it set as long as you have. You can do 10 minutes, you can do a half an hour. You, I've left them in for two hours before if I'm just cleaning or you know whatever. It doesn't matter. The longer you leave the rollers in, the more hold you're going to have. So, you know, it's up to you. So I will come back when I'm getting ready to take these out. Okay, and actually I will show you now because I'm gonna turn my curling iron off. What I like to do is I'll take my bang and I will curl it up and away from my face with a curling iron and then let it go. I know this is looking very intense right now, but by the time I take all my hair out, it'll fall. All right, so I've had these in about a half an hour now. I'm going to take them out and just, I don't know, just to show you guys, I keep mine like in this little flimsy plastic tub thing. It's little. I mean, it's, you know, whatever, little handles. It's really convenient. I just throw them in there, tuck them away in the closet, and it's really handy. Okay, so I start at the bottom, take out the clip, and unroll it. 
and you can see it's not as curly as it was with the curling iron but you still have that nice curl Now, I tell, I tell, I call this my Texas Barbie hair because it is, see, and I'm even talking with a, like, Zoe Bella with a little southern accent. Um, now I lost my train of thought. Oh, um, I call it my Texas Barbie hair because I, it is big and it does have some flip to it, but I like it like that. And it will fall. I mean, after an hour and a half or so it isn't nearly as big and you can tease this as much as you want to get it as big as you want you can comb it out as um, you can comb it out to get it as toned down as you want the vel the velcro rollers just give awesome body where you can get body from a curling iron but it's just not the same okay so when I take them out without touching it this is how it looks okay now what I do is I just take my fingers and shake through it I even go upside down and flip my head over to kind of shake it out you can use your fingers to kind of piece it out where you want it. And usually, since I tease it before I put the rollers in, I usually don't have to do that much teasing. I am going to do it. You can see how this is kind of flat right here. So I'm just going to lift it up and do a little bit of teasing there. A little bit right here. And I never, and I can say never because I don't, I never have to touch up usually anything with a curling iron. Sometimes my bangs, which I want to do a little bit to this guy. Okay, so this is how I get my Texas Barbie hair. Um, then I just do a good spray all over. I love the Velcro rollers because they give that flip out where you can get that kind of flip with the curling iron, but it's really hard because it just falls out so easy. It doesn't stay and usually it ends up like too curly or not curly enough and it's just not good. All right, so I'm going to see how it's looking in the back here. If there's any rats, you can just fluff them out with your fingers. Make sure you guys can see it. Okay, so this is how it looks from the back. And obviously it'll be different depending on how your hair is cut. I have shorter layers. So mine looks kind of like that. But yeah, this is my, I know I've said it 17 times, but my Texas Barbie hair. And I hope you like it. I hope you try it out. So thanks for watching. Bye.